Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video with Lampis. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. It's like yeah, Christmas Eve is tomorrow and excited, overwhelmed, and I don't know, it just feels a little bit weird. So Ali is not at home at the moment, he's going to do like uh, grocery shopping for a Christmas lunch. I could not go with, I was just, I haven't been feeling well lately and I have to, to stay at home for a while. So, you know, so far, especially when I did the video, like the tri the first trimester, how is it going and stuff. Now we are now in the second trimester and I have to tell you, the past three days, have, they have been very difficult. I, I, I literally almost, I would say in the past three days, I have slept maybe three hours every night. It's just been very difficult and I'm just like, why? Like today when I woke up, I was actually just thinking, why is this happening just now before Christmas? Like I was feeling super amazing in the first three months, especially the first four months. I've been feeling really well, amazing. But I think it's also my focus was somewhere else. Uh, this Monday, I, I started my holiday, like the Christmas holiday. Ali is still working like crazy. And so from Monday to today, I just, maybe I did focus, or my mind is now more focused on I'm pregnant, we're expecting a child, we need to get ready and stuff. I just cannot sleep and I feel really, you know, always tired. And I don't know. It's weird. Like I even see that I have blisters on my lips because I think just too much emotional stress. Everything kind of overwhelming. I I just do not I don't really know why. Because initially, like in the previous video I was saying, I just started having like weird dreams. Like you can't really I just cannot Sleep is before like deep asleep for seven eight hours. No now Okay, a lot of dreams, but recently honestly I go to bed like yesterday. I went to bed around 3 Probably by 6 a.m. I was already awake or by 5 30 and then I tried to go to sleep again. I couldn't It's just a lot of emotions maybe due to pregnancy hormones It is sad because I, I expected myself to be super excited around this time of the year because it's obviously Christmas. Two weeks ago, I had like, a, what is it? A hair balm is like a, a person who can assist your pregnancy and giving birth and, ex, you know, welcoming the child home for the first time here in Germany. And the lady came and gave me a lot of uh, things <laughs> to do and to look at and things to buy and this this week that's when I started looking at this list and, and and I was going through the whole list and trying to buy stuff <sighs> and Ali is making me feel like oh my goodness Lempi you're overwhelmed you are panicking slow down slow down we have time I'm like <sighs> it's crazy because I think as a mother or the person who you as a female as a woman when you're carrying a child you just have a little bit different sensitivity towards this stuff than a than a man so yeah i think that's what has been also keeping my mind awake most of the night just thinking okay have i got everything is there still enough time i mean there is time ali would say there is time and i think there is also time if i'm just thinking everything will go perfect as uh, as planned as predicted by the, the by the gynecologist yeah but i don't know you know uh, when you're pregnant for the first time you hear a lot of stories and oh my goodness you need to be ready all the time you make sure everything is ready because maybe later on in your in your third trimester whatsoever you're not going to be able to to do to get things done you might be way too tired so i'm trying to get things done then i just have a lot 
of also emotion around every step I'm taking is the baby okay am I lying in the right, in the right position oh, it's, it's just a lot of feeling and usually I'm not the person that is that concerned I mean I don't know I have never been pregnant before so this is what is happening at the moment it's a lot of emotions just due to hormones as well because I feel it's a lot of anxiety I'm overwhelmed sometimes I also like this Panic, oh my goodness, this needs to be done now for no reason. Now. I don't say for no reason, you don't need to panic, you don't need to panic. And it has been just a little stressful. So it's the last day before, like usually, Christmas shopping. I should be the one doing these things. I like, I've never missed it before. But today it's like, I'm tired, I didn't sleep. Uh, it's gray, it's what. I don't know I think everything is coming just soaking in everything like okay now I'm expecting I didn't get to see my family the whole year I'm worried if I'm gonna be able to see my family or they're going to be able to come visit us next year when we get the baby like all the things is you know everything's going in circles in my mind and that is just, I don't know sad because I wanted I'm hoping I wanted obviously to be happy and excited for Christmas although it's just the two of us and I'm hoping that also tomorrow maybe I'm going to start feeling better but the past three days it just has been difficult to sleep like I would go to bed so initially I thought okay maybe I went to bed too early then I moved to I'll go to bed a little bit late but still I just wake up in the night and then I cannot go back to sleep anymore and that's literally after three or four hours being just emotional super emotional and today in particular I think when I woke up and the realization I didn't speak uh, like I didn't speak to my sister today but I was just the realization that okay we are not able we're not going to go home and visit Alice's parents for Christmas that used to be also a little bit of a, of a relief like okay I cannot make it home because it's super far and Christmas I usually just have around around seven days or 14 days yeah I usually don't go home around then but when I would go to visit Alice's parents then your mind is focused but you're still around family and today I think when I woke up <laughs> it's all gray and our home was also a mess in the background because we couldn't get everything done as we wanted to before Christmas. I was just like, what kind of Christmas is this? Like, it's just like all that tension again adds to already what is happening with the pregnancy hormones and stuff. We wanted to already, like we thought by now we would have like a, a normal dining table like you can see we have showed that in the in the house tour like it was just provisional we thought by now we would have a normal dining table but with the second lockdown on two occasions I tried to go to the to the what is it called it's not a furniture shop really is it a furniture shop? yeah it is actually like you know this home home decor or home cop whatsoever where you can buy everything but no you have to order everything online now uh, because now it's locked down and only people who own companies are allowed to enter the shop and all these sort of things so we don't have that and it's also <laughs> I, I you know i have to get used to the idea that that's how we can just spend christmas but then i was sad i was sad in the morning waking up and saying oh it's not perfect Christmas as it's supposed to be for the two of uh, what I imagined and I don't know I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm going to be better and on Monday when I was really feeling down I thought okay I'm just gonna go something that always usually bring me happiness and good attitude when I have flowers in the house and then the flower shops are closed all the flower shops are closed. It's ridiculous. I mean, I, 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 I understand we need this to see if these cases are going to, to go down and stuff, but on the other side of it, it's, just, it's, it's 
weird it is difficult so I wish you all this strength mental strength I wish myself also strength I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm going to feel better that is a short update about just how I'm feeling at the moment and I would also like to hear comments from you maybe those of you who have experienced like this is kind of emotional breakdown during pregnancy let me know is there any tea that help or anything that helps I'll look into you know I'm, I'm here to also learn a, a lot from you especially with this particular topic because I don't know much about it leave, leave that in the comment section and then I'll look into that and if you find any useful tips I will definitely try that out yeah see you in our next video ciao ciao ciao